Here's another example on co-ratios. Complete the trigonometric statement below so that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So we can see here that sine of 320 is equal to something 50 degrees. Okay, so let's see if we can write 320 um, as some sort of angle plus 50 degrees or something like that. So let's see um, if we subtract 50, we get... 320 minus 50 is 270 okay so 270 plus theta gives me 320 how about if we add it okay if we add 50 there we get 370 degrees minus 50 degrees so either this is 320 or that is 320 now which one of these two would you like to use Hopefully you recognize that this is the right one, okay? 270 plus. 270 plus, if we draw, better than that, draw our cos diagram. Okay, cos all sine and tan. 270 we see is positive, so we number in the positive direction. Um, so, I mean, positive direction is this way, anti-clockwise then that's 90, 180, 270, 360. Okay, and we see 270 plus is in this quadrant. In this quadrant, cos is positive, the rest is negative. So since it's a sine, it must be negative, because sine in the fourth quadrant is negative. But we use the co function, because this 270 plus 50 means that the angle I'm making with the y-axis is equal to 50 degrees. I want to use the angle made with the x-axis, so I have to use the co-ratio to manage that. Okay, so this would be cosine of 50 degrees. Hope you got that. Uh, see you in the next video.